the nice Czechoslovak look of the breakfast restaurant up here. Look at these lamps, all unchanged. Pretty cool. I'm going for a day trip to Ostrava, the Czech Republic. What I do when I walk to the station is I just take the first train generally in the direction I want to go. Tonight I have to fly back to Sofia from Bratislava. So this is not in the direction, but I can bend off a little, check out Ostrava, then go to um, Olomouc and Brno, where I've already been, then get to Bratislava by the night. Just take it easy, it will be quite long in the train then. But I can just have lunch in Ostrava, check it out, we'll see. Should be alright though. Alright, we just pulled off out of Chatsa, which is near the borders of both the Czech Republic and Poland. So, in a bit we'll be crossing into the Czech Republic, I suppose. And then heading to Ostrava. It's a journey of about an hour and a half from Zilina, so that's not too bad. It's just that I don't have very long to explore the city, even though it's pretty big, so that's a bit of a shame. But Well, I decided just to take the first train that came and it was to Ostrava. So instead of waiting for at least an hour to head to Bratislava, um, I thought I might as well spend that hour on the train to Ostrava. Right. A lot of infrastructure developments in Slovakia, as you can see. Looks a bit cheap, to be honest. Not built to stand the test of time, but it's something. What does it cost to go from Zilina in Slovakia to the Czech Republic, Ostrava? Nope. Cost is 8 euros and 80 cents, so that's not too bad either for an hour and a half on the train. Internationally, you cannot complain. The train is comfortable, it has a plug right here so I can charge everything up. It has Wi Fi, which is pretty stable. I can edit some YouTube videos, even upload them because I have a huge backlog. And then when I hop off, I'll be in the Czech Republic at lunchtime. Isn't that very luxurious? cannot imagine all of this 30 years ago in these countries, like the trains would, would be very very slow and barely be any infrastructure at all. It's a lot faster everything. And now I'm in the Czech Republic, if you were wondering how the border looks. Nothing remarkable, just a bit nice natural landscape, lots of hills, little villas. First down here will be Nafsi, the Czech Republic, and then it's about, what is it, an hour more to Ostrava. It's a bit more inland to the Czech Republic. All good. Alright, I've arrived in the city of Ostrava, which is in the east of the Czech Republic. Let's check out the city where I've never been before. It's a Sunday afternoon, it's still relatively quiet. There should be a lot to see in the city, so I'm curious. 